almost half of the hoops you can easily understand because this is the main and the core and the basic content which we need to understand see this is like a, an alphabet so now we are going to write a paragraph sir you are going to write a story or you are going to write a novel so this is a very basic means like if means how it is important to learn an alphabet uh, before learning english so the same before writing any particular paragraph so going to the oops you need to understand what is an a class what is an object what is a variable what is a method now in variable in method we do have means two things which is a static variable static methods and uh, uh, i mean how we can access these members so these are the things which we are going to discuss about it okay uh, now let's start with the static now this particular means how we will use a static and where it will allocate and then those things we will be discussing about it and uh, we will access this one and guys tomorrow what i wanted to see is you guys need to create the same things uh, means multiple classes you need to create it in the same class you need to define the static variables static members and all these things we need to do it however at the end of the this story i'll let you know what to do for the next now coming back here as you know this is a class now in the class what the first item which we will try to take it up is what do you meant by a static variables and uh, methods and how this will work for us okay this is what we are going to discuss now static <clears throat> now if you mention anything in means as a uh, prerequisite now for an example now i mentioned this as static int if i mention in front of any particular variable then this is called a static variable if i don't mention anything then this is called as non static no. variable simple so now if you mention public void static and then the method name if i have been given this okay uh, then this is sorry i wrongly placed it so public static void um, if i placed means uh, the the static keyword in the method name then this is called static method i didn't given the static here then this is called as non static method how simple it is now what do you meant by see always we should remember when we say static members static members includes variables plus methods static members means it includes variables plus methods okay now how i can access the static variables but before going to that one what do you meant by static actually if you need to understand this particular concept first for this one i'll give an a small example <clears throat> there is a village uh, i i think i given the same example uh, in the previous videos also but however uh, i don't re recollect it but still the, that's a, a regular example which i was giving previously to uh, we do have means, one, means there is a village and in that particular village uh, we will be having one guy uh means uh, uh you you can name anything so uh, so that guy will be there and if there is some work in that particular village regularly we can uh, call him that means it's he not he will not belong to the particular family but whatever the work we have so he can commonly uh, he he can be accessed by if any family in that particular village if they get stuck with any other thing so immediately that guy will get into the things and then he will help us means for an example a family one calls him boss can you help me to bring me some milk so he will come and then hey help in bringing the milk and uh, some other people will be there means some other family they will come and ask me can you drop my son in the school he will take that guy and then he will drop in the school usually we'll see in that uh, uh, tradition of our movies right to show the hero character very good and clean so usually one guy will be in the village so that guy can help all the families whatever the work is there so this all means uh, for all the families he would be helping out so he is common and he can help an odd so this guy is called as a static variable what do you mean by this particular static variable over here means for example now i defined okay i defined a particular variable over here for an example now this is class a uh, in the class a i defined a static variable okay static int equal to int uh, i equal to 100 now this 100 will be stored in which memory so this will be stored in 
permanent generator memory or perm gen memory so in this memory we will be storing the static value now this can be accessed by b c d e so now i have four classes defined and in any of the class if i access this particular i i can access this and the value of i is 100 because the a, in a class i defined a static variable with i equal to 100 and that particular value remains same and uh, const, I mean, remains same in all the classes now this guy when i wanted to call that guy into another village means uh, there is a village in that village that guy is there right for an example we call the rainy gunta in rainy gunta that guy name is chris rainy gunta chris so now i need to call this guy into tirupati now what i need to call means when i wanted to call this guy into the b so now what i need to do i need to mention his village name and then i need to mention his name so now uh, in tirupati if i wanted to call him then i need to call him as rainy gunta chris so now when i call this rainy gunta chris so this is a reference of this particular class name and reference of this name means that particular variable name so now so how i need to call this one a of i so now when you wanted to access the static variables or static members uh, means variables or methods i told you right this is called this members whether you wanted to call the variables whether you wanted to call the members or sorry methods then how you need to call is class name dot the variable name or class name dot method name so this is how we will be calling all the static members into class b class c class d class e in any class you can call with this one but the memory of that one is common across for all the classes because it has been defined at one place and in that particular one place we have been defined it and uh, they were doing it so now if i wanted to access i'll be accessing with the class name dot variable name class name dot method name so you'll be accessing over here so this is what the static variable so the first point is you need to understand static means the static variables means uh, static members means it is commonly accessible by any of the class or the same class and now it have a permanent generator memory so it means all the static members values means the methods or the variables will be stored in the permanent generator memory and when you wanted to access the static members into another class you need to call with the class name dot uh, the variable name or class name dot with the method name or if you wanted to call it in the same class, then there is no name uh, mentioned to uh, uh, call this particular class name directly. You can call that particular variable if it is in the same class. And if at all, you means, in, means whenever we are accessing this particular variable in this particular class, if at all you wanted to change the value of this one, it means for example, in the D, I changed the value from 100 to 110. So in all other classes also, the value will be changing from 100 to 110. So even in the B, it will reflect B, C it will reflect D, it will reflect A, it will be reflect. So wherever you go, means the value will be changed. If you change in one class, it will immediately change in, in all the classes. Why it will happen? If I change in one class, I value, it will reflect in all the classes. Why? Dash. Okay, Chandrika. Uh, yes, Krish, because it is a static, right? It will be a constant. I mean, it will be, it is storing in a permanent generated memory. Uh, the answer is not static, not no, this one. The answer is it stores in common memory, which is in the permanent generated memory. Because as it having the common memory, I, here first I have 100, then I put it 110, then I'll be putting 200. So now when I change that particular value, so it was changing in the permanent generated memory, in the common memory. Once it's changed, it will have the same actments for all other classes also, it will have the problem. So this is the reason means uh, we have to be so cautious when we wanted to define a static variables or uh, when the static members which we are trying to do it.
Got it? So now let's see. Uh, I'll just uh, show means whatever the things which we have been discussed now. Let's see how things goes on. Now this is uh, uh, the static means. Uh, now we are seeing this means we have been defined uh, the static variables, right? Now I'll see. I wanted to call this int model one. So now what I'll try to do, I'll uh, just try to do one quick thing. S Y, uh, uh, okay. S Y S O. So here what I'll do. Um, I'm sorry. My model is okay so what i'm trying to do i'm adding a concatenator operator plus and then i wanted to give this value and let's see and execute it see i just called with the name that means the, the static variable name directly here i'm able to get this now i wanted to have uh means where is the static uh, I do have another method also, right? Filling fuel. What happened to that method? I'll just say that filling. Yes. Yep. Can you please increase the font size? Actually, it's too tiny. Ah, uh, definitely, I'll do that. There is a shortcut key to increase. I forgot. Control plus equals. Sorry. Control plus equal. Yeah. Controls plus. Control plus equals at least. Cool, cool. Thank you. Filling fuel. Okay, I'll remove this one as as I remove this. So this is non-static method. Now here I'll write as uh, filling fuel. Okay. So now I wanted to access this method, right? So just I'll take this method and I'll just keep it this and here. I'll just call and I start doing the execution. See, the car is moving. So now into the main method, as you know, that means that we need to call anything into the main method to do start for this. So now what did happen? So I wanted to execute this one. So as this is a non-static, so oh, sorry, as this is a static variable, I just directly mentioned here, it was able to access. Now let's try accessing this. With the same method name. See, it was throwing me the error message. What is the error message? Change fill fuel to the static. Because the basic thumb rule is if you wanted to call a static method, means if you wanted to call a static method in inside a static method, it is possible. If you wanted to call a non static method into a static method, it's not possible. So, main method is a static method. So when you wanted to call a non-static method into a static method, we, we can't call that one. So how we wanted to call, so we need to create an object for this. However, I'll come back to the non-static methods, then I'll call, means I'll let you know. Why I'm not able to call this one here in the main method, the answer, so it means this is one of the uh, uh, the basic question. So why I can't able to access a non-static uh, methods into the main method, the answer is, as main method is a static method, we can access only the static methods into the static methods, not non-static methods into the static method. So that's the reason we can't access that. That's the answer for this. Now, the same way, now we will just uh, uh, try to keep this one over here and we will try to have, uh, Okay, let's do one thing. So quickly, uh, can you do the same thing? Create a class, define uh, uh, static variables and static members, uh, call into the main method and show it to me. Very quick. So just it's uh, 9.59, right? So 10.3, we will see, uh, means four minutes. Okay, five minutes. Let's make it uh, five minutes. In the five minutes, create all these classes, methods and access and then let me show. Then we will try to create another class and then I'll show it to it. Okay, time clock triggers, start. It is yesterday I had done it. Can I show? Just give me a second. So let's see for all the people and then we will see. I'll I'll back I'll back to you.
you asked only for the stat static variable and uh, method, right? That's it. Jeshi, you are saying, uh, saying that like, you wanted to share the screen. Can you share that? Sure. Uh, it is disabled, I think. Uh, China, please. Okay. Oh, you are uh, using the burp suit for security testing. Yeah, uh, sorry. Sure, sure. Yeah, so uh, this is what I tried yesterday, but uh, I didn't know how to do the non-static. So I was going through the video. Cool, no problem. Create another class and access the non-static sta static variables. Create another class and access a non-static. Okay. Uh, create I'll another go. class, access the static there. Okay. I can create it from here itself. Do it. <laughs> Actually, whatever you have done is also right. So we can do a nested class in a class. So that is called as uh, multiple classes in the same class, but is not really required. So always when you are creating, you can create a new class. Mm. Give another name because already the car name is here, right? That's it. Okay. okay. Now create uh, let's access uh, the static variables of car class here. Access static variables of class here. So as it is static, so I need to have a class name with that. Okay. What are the variables you have it in the car class? Uh, these are the three variables. Static. All three variables static. are static. Only this is static. Uh, now you wanted to access the car model in the yeah. bike. So go to the bike, okay. sysout one, do a sysout. Sysout. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now here, my model. You can double quotes. One second. Ah, so here you can write my car model or whatever the thing you want to just now plus plus is a concatenator operator you are trying okay. to concatenate that uh, it's it, it shouldn't be it's a variable when we are defining variable you shouldn't use the double quotes yeah now what is a variable you wanted to access into this uh, it is a uh, car model yeah copy that car model yes. See spelling mistake. Yeah. So what it was trying to say in this particular class, you don't have this. So how to access uh, the variable from another in the static variables from another class to this class? Using the class name. Is car. it the class name is right? No. Uh, bike. Oh, okay. Car. Yeah. See the uh, caps. Okay. Excellent, that's it. Call mm. the method from there to this class. Always save, save. Uh, uh, cool. oh. uh, save that. And uh, you, you see now you executed it, you got it. Yeah. Now access the method from that particular class to this method, uh, this class. Car class static method into the bike class. So how you will access? Come again, sorry. Car class. Mm -hmm. Method you need to access here the static method over here. What you'll try to do? Uh, same thing. Uh, uh, 
that's it do it no uh, see this is method for method you no need to uh, give a sys out that's a variable you oh, have okay. been given so it is car dot see now what the methods oh. are there see now you by default you got it which method you wanted to access running that's, yes click so that's how the eclipse will help you or now just execute the program okay got it yeah. that's a simple thing so if you have the static variables so how you wanted to access is with the class name you need to access everyone done anyone is pending anyone get struck okay so samran can you share the screen so just uh, uh, joshi can you stop the screen please